Hey, in this video, we're going to be discussing the hard trifold tonneau from Mopar from my Jeep Gladiator. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Robert with Sherburn Outdoors, and today we're talking tonneau covers, specifically ones that fit, fit the uh, Jeep Gladiator. So when I bought this Gladiator, I bought it brand new, I did buy it fully loaded, and it came with a hard tonneau cover. Um, I had looked at some other ones prior to that, but it came from the factory installed with a Mopar one. I think they, you can buy these for about ah, anywhere from like $1,150 i have seen online all the way up to $1,300 uh, for this particular one, and it's trifold. Now there are many different types of tonneau covers out there. There's the kind that roll, they're very soft and you put up. There's the, the, the ones that are called soft ones that are similar to the trifold and that you can, some of the downfalls of that is they do wave and, and you can actually get into them. There is this one actually, which is the hard uh, tonneau cover. I like this one a lot. It gives you a lot of security, it keeps uh, the dust off everything. Kind of keeps the water out for the most part. This is still a truck bed and it's not sealed seam, so water's going to get in. And the other ones are um, ones I like from Diamondback, actually. If I had to do it again and this did not come with one, that is the one I would have, which is a hard uh, uh, panel as well, but it holds up to like 2,000 pounds, 2,400 pounds, or no, I think 1,600 pounds. It's crazy. Um, and you can put everything on top of it. It's a lot more expensive. You're looking in that 2,400 range, somewhere like that. Really expensive, really nice, really high end. If I had to do it again or something happens to this one, that's what, or hey, Diamondback, if you're out there, I am open to doing some trials on mine. But hey, let's look at this um, this trifold, how it works, uh, some good things about it, and, and you know, some not some good things about it. Let me flip it around, let's take a look. So, I mean, again, this is pretty simple. One of the good things about it, it's very flush. Now, you've seen my setup before. Uh, typically, I will have a, when I'm out overlanding, I'll have a very low profile system here with my roam boxes and my uh, rooftop tent sits so very low and then in the and then in the truck bed i will have my roam boxes that are uh stored deep in here one of the things i like about them is they are almost flush to the top of the tonneau cover so they don't move and then in the, behind that i'll have all of my firewood and diesel heaters and ac systems whatever it's a really good setup for me i've designed my overlanding uh, set up for this, but if we again look at this pretty quickly, I am using a Billy Bars low profile system here. Uh, when we have the bars, they do come under, and there is a slight gap here, doesn't let much in, um, but yeah. And this is flush to the tailgate, sits up just a little bit, and this is where I talked about. You know, you can you can get it as close as you can, but you do have seams on on a truck bed. So let's open this up. One thing I want to note before I open this up is one thing I've noticed in the winter time. You'll get condensation in the nighttime that'll get underneath of this right here, just to here. And if it's uh, below freezing, that will freeze and opening the, the tailgate can actually be challenging. Just pull this down and you can see here, you know, it's very flush. Comes to the top of the tailgate. It's a simple system. If you haven't used trifolds before, you just basically pull this down and flip it up. Now when this is all flipped up, you can see this five foot bed here, you do have access. Uh, and because I do keep my bars on my system at home and only drop them in when I need the rooftop tent and stuff, I do have full access to my truck bed. And if we look underneath here, you can also see there are drain lines in the back for the Mopar cover. It does come for that, so when you do get water in these tracks, it will drain out of the system. Uh, you are beveled up here in your truck bed, so unless you have something soft in these channels, you know, I really wouldn't worry about it too much. Some other notes about this as well, you can bring this all the way up and it'll sit up against the window. If you do, make sure you got a piece of foam or something right there to protect it. And then um, it does have these cute little clasps so you can put in here so this isn't flying around if you are driving around with this as an open tonneau cover. But again, it's pretty simple. This is the Mopar one, it's very well made. Again, if you wanna open up, you can just lift that up, just prop it up against there, and you get access to the full system in the back. 
and um, it's a it's a pretty simple system again it just it does what it does it keeps my gear secure keeps keeps it for the most part waterproof keeps all the mud and dirt out of the truck bed when we're moving around you see it's actually pretty clean i've been on some crazy trips recently um, and all you got to do when you get back to your house is just hose some things out and um so i am a big believer i do like these well guys that was a short video it wasn't meant to be an install video it was just kind of talking a little bit about the hard tonneau cover i've been getting a lot of questions on on the youtube feed with this and so again this was the hard tonneau cover from mopar eh, about 11 1200 bucks you can find variations online the future for me though i will tell you i do like that diamond back uh system um it just it just is pretty sweet i think it's going to work for me in the future if i stick with this type of setup if i move to a bigger frame where i'm looking at a wedge tent in the future i may have a whole different setup and but i still may keep this on here because it keeps all the gear secure and safe and it does keep a lot of the elements off of it whether the elements water or whether it's dirt so again this is the mopar hard trifold i am i'm a big fan of all these mopar Hey, if you found a lot of value out of this, please click that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell to be notified when we got new content out. Everybody have a great day and thanks for your time.